Okay, so uh, today we sculpted Billy from Billy and Mandy. Uh, originally, I was gonna do uh, Bart Simpson, but I don't like the way his head is shaped. I'm straight. Do something a little easier. I grew up, uh, grew up on uh, Billy and Mandy. My fault, I'm tripping. See you, Rose. Yeah, I was a uh, Cartoon Network kid. I ain't really mess with the Disney Channel. Until they started dropping like, uh, what, like Jesse and everything. That's when it got decent. But no, I mess with Nickelodeon. But, uh, I said Nickelodeon. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> As you can tell, I'm nervous. I don't really show my face. I'll be talking when I be sculpting. It's all right. It's all a learning experience. After having like 16 technical difficulties, like I was saying before I was really interrupted, I started sculpting the nose. Yeah, like I said, usually don't take me too long when I be making these characters. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to do something. What's up, something? They want to stop me. Oh, well. well, you see with the ear, it's actually like, let me go back, it's like a curve. So, what I could do is add a loop cut, push it out a little bit like that, like that, and then just scale it down a bit. Bring it up. this back and scale it down a bit actually yeah like that I don't care a little too big alright so <laughs> for the first video we uh messed up I tried to make his mouth uh like the cartoony way but it's different when trying to uh, you trying to make a 2D character into 3D it's alright you just gonna give him some teeth and then we gonna give him his tongue and everything. Yeah, so I figured we could just do something like that. Like I said, most of the time I do like the freestyle. Like I said, I get a uh, a good idea. Once so I get the reference and then I like the freestyle. Like now I'll make the little uh, slit like in his tongue. Like that. And then add another subdivision. And then you see, you can see how it's coming. Oh, uh, hold up. <laughs> Did it all. Okay. Let's do something like that. And then, smoothing that out. Then we're going to get started on the hat. Okay, now you see what his hat. His hat is, um. It's kind of like a bowl. Like bowl shape, you know. So it would be pretty easy to try to put it in front. So I'm not gonna actually put it on his head, but I'm gonna put it in front just to give it that illusion that he's wearing a hat. So we're gonna do that, rotate it, and let me see. Stretch this out, right? And then it comes over just a little bit more. It really take up this whole space. And then you see, we'll just stretch it out along this way but we'll also push this out you see how it kind of goes up like that and then you just work your way down and continue to extrude and to uh, you know stretch it out some more and then do like yeah see just like that and then we'll just pull it out pull it right and then rotate it now a triangle, I'm trying to see how I do this. I think I rotate this as well. And then I grab the edge and just pull the edge out, right? And then what I'll do is make this a solid face. No, I did it wrong, hold up. I think 
I would. There you go. Yeah, extrude it, and then you see it makes that uh, like a triangle. And I'll put it. It's like right there. I had to move this tongue out the way, man. I couldn't see the shirt. <laughs> but yeah, I said the shirt. Um, it's pretty easy. It's gonna be all connected. Let's zoom in right here. And then. I think I rotate it more to give it more aesthetic. Yeah. And then, like I said, we can put his uh, put his tongue back. <laughs> and then I said I get started on the hand. I got the cube in. I said the majority of the um, of the shapes that we use, I do start off with a cube. It's just easier that way. But for me. Move this over some so I can see his hand. And like so I would extrude that, go over, and then extrude this. You see how it's already starting to be the shape of his hand and everything. And then I would extrude this down and move it over. Go extrude and extrude and then move it over like that and then we can extrude this and then extrude this up or the uh, inner portion of his ear and then I just make it like that that light pink that he has yeah that'd be decent and then they see I switch it back and forth just to see how to look and then yeah, for his hand. for his shirt it'd be a little bit more complicated. I have to actually draw on there, and doing that they call it a um, like a UV unwrap. You have to like unwrap the model. One second, you go to texture paint, yeah, and then you choose the material, and then you choose the base color. It'd be white since his shirt is white, and then this actually allows me to draw on it. And then you see the blue, the little blue within his shirt. I would just draw that on here like that. And then he got like dark blue at the bottom. So I make it smaller. You press F to change the size of the brush. And then like I said, I just go back through and then draw on it. Like I said, I'm giving some uh, simple eyebrows. Nothing too crazy. Just little eyebrows. Scale it down. Let's start right here. Edit mode. The face. The back. Oh, hold up. Actually, I'll go here. And then select that face. And then go up. Rotate. Over. this oh, hold on. Actually scale. okay and like I said now we done like I said that's the cartoon version and that's my version it was pretty pretty decent you know for the first time like I said I'm gonna keep doing these so I can get more comfortable with talking and just showing how I uh, make the characters and all like I said thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll make another one <laughs>